in daylight, surrounded by the beauty of the Pacific Northwest landscape. It was hard not to let doubt creep in one last time. I could still chalk everything up to a dream, a delusion. I had enough imagination to make up something like this, having been in the cabin all this time, trapped in a story inside my head, gone mad from grief over Alice's death like Hartman had claimed. There would be no way of knowing. I told myself it didn't really matter. My course was set. It touched me. There was a link between us, always would be. I could feel its presence again, getting closer. I will kill your wife. The Dark Presence was no longer trying to capture the writer so he could create the ending it wanted. The writer knew too much. He was too strong. And he carried a weapon left behind by Thomas Zane, something that could hurt it. Now, the darkness was doing everything in its power to simply stop the writer from ever reaching Cauldron Lake and the dark place it came from.
Based on the signature in the motel register, Agent Nightingale had stayed here, in room number two. This had obviously been the room where Agent Nightingale had stayed when he hadn't been busy harassing me. Look after yourself, Benjamin! Oh, 